for there is no sound like the shimsha, the praises of exuding the accolades of his wonderful power that we express and through his mitzvah, his commands as how we come and jihad to worship him. We rejoice in the excellence of all of his beauty that is revealed in your sure Hamashiach and that we may delight in all of his great abundance for he has granted us much this day on the Shabbat that we may rest or have the Shabbaton, a time of rest to be refreshed, revive, and that we may excel in the things that Yah commands us to do, that we do, that we asa, we fashion our minds, our living, our hearts, to obey all that He commands us. We greet all of our friends, our listeners, and especially you, our uh, Oyeb, our enemies. We greet you all. In the blessed name of Yahshua Hamashiach, for there is no other name granted under Hashemayim, whereby we must be your shach, delivered from the power and the depths of this wickedness that is prevailing with great pervasiveness throughout the nations of the earth. And if there is one thing that grants us consolation, it is the assurance as we sing the song, Yah got it all in control. He is the one that has orchestrated the mandate. It is not in the hands of al Shatan. It is not in the hands of the princes and the powers of darkness. It is in the hands of Yah. I'm not going to preach today. You that have joined us, our Zakin Yaramaya has a word that he wants to bring forth. It is vital. It is a word of urgency for the nation of Yisraya that we must, as he reminded us, on that not only do we as a nation shemach to hear with great discipline to obey Yah, but he also shemach us as a people, as a nation. For we know that Yah shemach not, hears not the prayer of the wicked. But if a man be a worshiper of Yah, him, his prayer, Yah hears. So what a great dynamic that is for us as a nation is he gave us assurance. I want to read a few things before he comes. Hallelujah. You that have joined us, we greet you all our friends. We greet you our Ak Frank and your Isha, Diane. They are in Nebo, West Virginia. Our precious Achot, Diana, Diane, our uh, they are in Florida. We greet you, our Octesner, your family, and all of you all that are there in Florida. We greet you all. We greet our friends. We greet our Ach Yachob there in Texas. We did that last one for you. We know that you love the song. And our precious Ach Yachob is Isha there in Jacksonville. Now, if Re'ach forgets your name, don't worry about that. We greet you as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our uh, hosts, uh, Washington, there in Little Rock, Arkansas, we'll greet you. We greet our precious Ak Daryl there in Atlanta, Georgia. Yabrak, my friend, your kindness, your faithfulness. Our Ak Keith, as he travels this nation, driving that tractor trailer. I hope you're resting today, my friend. And all of the hosts of Yisraya, we greet you all. Um, precious out there in Los Angeles, California, as they are gathered there in the Bayat, there are Ak, our Zachin, Charles Davis, we greet you all. And as well as you, our precious Ak, Tayonia, there in Memphis, Tennessee, we greet you in the precious name of Yahshua Hamashiach. And may the riches of Yah rest upon you all abundantly, all you that have joined us on the live stream. May the great Esha, the riches of his abundance that cause us to rejoice, may it fill the Shah, the bosom of Yisrael, that we know that our Redeemer lives and that we rejoice in. There are two things I want to say before our Zachin Yaramaya comes. I want to read this. Just listen. Your commands his nation, he says, Hallelujah, Hallel. 
He commands us to sing unto Omar Yahweh a new song. His praise in the assembly of the kind ones, those that are of the same nature, those that are the Yisraelite Herosham. He said, let call Yisrael rejoice uh, in their maker. Let the children the bane of Tizayon or Zion exude in their sovereign almighty Yah. Let them praise his name in dances. Let them praise his name. Let them sing praises to him with the tambourine and with the lyre or the musical string instruments. For Yah takes Hafid's pleasure in his people. Hallelujah. He embellished the meek ones with deliverance. Let the kind ones exude in esteem. Let them sing aloud even on their beds of affliction. Let them sing aloud unto Omar Yah. That's all right, little one. Hallelujah. He says, let them exalt Almighty Yah and let his name be in their fifth, in their mouth, in their exuding. And a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon anyone that denounces the commands of Almighty Yah and that will not walk according to his mandate unto the nation of Israel. That we as a nation of people that all nations shall know that our walk is different. Our dance, our talk, our attitude is different, Israel. And one that defies that you repudiate that one in the name of Almighty and the power of Yahshua HaMashiach. He says... To execute vengeance on the nations, the in the Gentiles, uh, punishment on the people, to bind their sovereign with change, and their nobles with iron bands to execute on them the written right rule. In essence, those that defy the commands of Yah do not allow that spirit to intermingle, bind it. Cast the judgment of Almighty Yahweh upon that vile, damnable, wicked thing. That it will not take preeminence and power in your mind. And you find yourself deluded and far removed from the principles of our uh, Abba. We must live according to his commands, Yisrael. Not this deceitful, fictitious lifestyle that we think. It is exuded in Torah. It is a feeble damnable lie hallelujah it's our actions that speaks not our talk hallelujah again david said hallelujah he says praise yah in his chadosh praise him in his mighty expanse praise him for his mighty acts, uh, praise him uh, according to his excellence uh, and the God, all the greatness of Yah. For there is none great like him. You look on the expanse of the Hashemayim. Look at the greatness of his creation. There is nothing like the creation of Yah. We will look at this thing that's a body that its composition, bacteria, and all kinds of death that operates in it. That's all the body is. And yet out of the midst of that, he brings forth the breath of his life. He brings forth the excellence of his power. We're about parasites and all kinds of worms dwell in this filthy stuff. You cannot save it, Yisrael. You cannot redeem it. Only Yah can redeem this putrefied mess. He said, Play, praise him by the blowing. Ah, yes, the blowing of the ram's horn. That's all right. Hallelujah. Praise him with the harps and the lyric. 
Praise him with the tambourines and with our dancing before him. Praise him with the string instruments and with the flutes. Praise him with the sounds of the cymbals. Praise him with the resounding cymbal. And above all things, let everything that have uh, the ruach of God praise him. That's a simple command. It is so simple that even the little ones understand that. I read that to say this before our Zachin Yaramaya comes. You find this deceitful, damnable, wicked teaching today. And many of them are constituted in the minds of men of great deception. The mind is, and their thoughts are predicated upon lies and deceit. They wrestle the Torah of Yah to their own destruction, to their own deceit. And so you got this teaching today that many are embracing. I want to say to you, Yisraya, that your Shua, Hamashiach, he is more than a brother, you understand? He is greater than a brother. And so there are those that want to diminish the power of this light. Oh, he is my brother. No, he is your redeemed man. He is the kinsman redeemer, my friend. You buy into that damn lie, you shall be damned. So they want to relocate your Shua Hamashiach down to some kind of uh, fivelish, fleshly nature of a man. He was greater than that. He is the Torah of Yah made. He was, uh, he was uh, bara created by Yah. And so they are denouncing that he came uh, to the birth of Miriam. What a damn lie. And yet they believe now that's not so. It is beyond the principles uh, of biology. But yet out of the damn dust of the earth, he brought forth a vile creature like us. Uh, out of the particles of the earth. Uh, you tell me that's too mighty for almighty Yah, then explain the heavens. Uh, explain the earth. Explain the sun. Uh, explain the moon. Uh, it's a small thing for him to bring her forth. And so they're saying that Yosef is the father of Yahshua that he had. And the Torah simply says that when he found her with child, he sought to put her away privately. These are damned dogs. And may they be damned for their delusion of lies. But the most important thing, I know one thing, as Shaul writes to Thessalonica, yeah, he says, don't be troubled, Yisrael. Yeah. He said, because they receive not the Hava, the love of Torah, he said, Yah has sent them strong delusions that they all might believe the Shekha, the lie. For what reason? That they all might be damned. He's going to damn them all. He's going to damn every last one of them, Yisrael. And so they're trying to diminish the power of Yeshua HaMashiach. They're trying to delete him out of the equation of Almighty Yahweh. It's wrong. I will not buy their lies. I'm glad they don't like me. They know about me, though. Believe me. They know about Riach. They know about us here. They, they know better. They don't want to come here. Come on, the sparse crowd we have today. That's all right. I'm not discouraged. He won't be discouraged when he declared the sword of Yah upon us. Let me read this, Zachin. I want to read this to signify and declare the power of Yoshua HaMashiach. Let me read a few scriptures quickly. It says here in the book of Tehillim, in the book of Psalms, this is what Yah says. Is your sure the Daba, the Dabarim, the word of Yah, the entirety, the all, the substance of the words? Is that what he is? 
That's what Yakahan declares. And the word and the Dabarim of Yah was made. It says this uh, here in the book of Tehillim, uh, chapter 119, verse 105. Uh, this is the declaration of David. He says, uh, Your Daba, it is a near, it is a lap. It is the glistering power or the illuminating strength of uh, Torah. He says that your Zaba, your word, uh, is a near. It is a lamp. It causes light to glisten, uh, to reverberate, to shine in the greatness and the excellence of Omar Yam. He says that is the near of the lamp to my feet, Yisrael. He says that it is the light, it is the awe. It is the brilliancy of the commands, the instructions, the knowledge, the wisdom of Torah. It is a light unto this way, the path that I go in, unto this nothing. You direct the way you have commanded. That's what the Dabai is. And Yoshua Hamashiach is the Dabarim. He is the word of your mage. He is the power of Torah reveal unto a nation that were, we were consumed. in every kind of corruption like we are today. Our minds repel and resist the commands of Yah. Hear this quickly. He goes on to say in the 30th chapter, 30th verse of the same chapter. He tells Yah that the petach, the entrance, the flowing, the opening. He says the entrance of your Torah, your words, uh, the disclosure, the revelation of your Torah. He said it gives. Listen, the word he used gives. He says uh, it nothan, it bestows, uh, it brings to the full, it brings, it gives lights. It gives the ma'or. It gives the light of rejoicing. It brings the elevation and the power of the Torah to the laba, to the conscience of man. That his ayin, his spiritual depths uh, are increased. He grows in the excellence of the power of Yah's Torah. That's what the Torah, when there is an entrance, when there is a pedak, when it enters into Yisra'ya, that's what the Torah does. It's, he also says, uh, and your Torah gives light. It gives understanding of the binah, the wisdom of the power of your Torah, even unto the petty, even unto the simple ones. Ones that have no wisdom of Torah. You see how the babies blow on their, on their shofar. You see how they come and dance and move. Uh, need no certain flow of music, they do it. Hallelujah. We're training a generation for hell. And Yah is in control. Zachin Yeramaya reminded us they went into the promises. And yet they did worse than their parents before them. And this is a generation that is so vile and so wicked. I had one to call me the other day and said, Reach, what do I do? I try to tell people and instruct them and show them the ways of Yah and what is complicit to his command. What do I do? They turn away and they do this. My response was this. You need to shut your damn mouth. You talk too damn much. I say your life is not worth a damn. You live wickedly corrupt. I said to this individual, I said, I want to show you an example. I say, shut your damn mouth. I says, one thing about a beautiful woman, when a man or a woman sees a woman that is very attractive, very beautiful, her symmetry is so refined, her walk is so beautiful. It, you know, she will cause those to get quiet. And they will watch. I said, what a man walks when the true ish of your man of physicality and strength and power. I say, men will stand back in awe and watch and when that man speaks, they listen. Even in the natural components, they do. I said, if you were living worth a piece of anything, because your life is ragged as hell, you live wicked as hell, you don't give a damn about yeah. I say, you think they don't see that? 
I said, and then they will ask you for the reason of the take father hope in you. Uh, your life is not worth a damn. How do you expect them uh, to inquire of you uh, when you don't even listen to y'all? Yeah. You know how the person responded to me, can I tell you? The person said, you're right. My life is raggly. My life isn't worth a damn, as you said. I live phony. I'm not sincere. You're right, Rayak. So I said to the individual, shut your damn mouth, all right? No, I'm not apologizing to this wicked world. Well, there are those who say you were crude, and there was no meekness. That was truth there. Let me read these few verses. Hallelujah. Now we see what David says here. That the entrance of Yas Torah. It, it, it gives this petach. The wisdom of Shalomo in Mishli Proverbs 6.23. I want to read something quickly here. In the book of 1st Yachahana. Proverbs 6.23. He says unto Yah for your mitzvah. Your commands. Your instructions. Your wise. Muza, your counsel. That's what the mitzvah are for. To correct us. It is to cause this word, the mach, the mach oh, the mach oh, it is a rejoicing when the light shines. You love to see the light shine. There is nothing more beautiful in the morning when I'm up, five in the morning, I'm out, 4.30, whatever. And I can see as the sun is rising itself to greet the daybreak of the morning, for Yah has commanded it to rise and to go around the earth and to proceed on a path. It is just a light that Yah has granted. He placed the earth for the centrality of all things. That's why he put man there. Zakain reminded us that a so deep man that falls down before the wicked, then little is his strength. He has no power. He's not a Gerber. He's not a man of strength. But the excellence of Almighty Yah. The world has taught us all how to talk. We love to talk. Has no damn value at all. We need the walk. The walk. And when you walk to walk, your walk will talk. Your walk will do more talking than your talk. When you walk to walk, your walk will talk. You understand? You go places, you don't have to say nothing. I don't care if you're dirty, uh, it's filthy as they come. I like to go out sometimes just filthy dirty like I did yesterday. Hallelujah. For Yisrael commands it. That's a fact. Hallelujah. He says, for your mitzvah is a near, it is the glistering, it is the light that glistens from the power of the Torah. He says, your mitzvah, it glistens all the time. It is a lamp, it is a near. That's why when one is walking in the Torah of Yah, it is this glistering. That is what the word near means. It is the power of the light that glistens, it lights, it shines bright in the midst of the darkness. You don't have to tell anyone anything. Jahu did not persuade one. He was persuaded. To, you know, he was a failure. Huh? Then Yoshua was a failure. Then Moshe was a failure. Look at all that house. Went back to their wicked ways. For the mitzvah is a lamp and the Torah is light. And he says, reproof of instruction, the muza of Yah, that's haderek. See, that's the way that we will walk in. That is the way the haderek of high, of life, of the life of Torah, the living power of Torah. You don't get it any other way, Yisrael. Now here comes this one that declares this counsel. And one speaks of him, one that will come who is greater than him, who, who shoelaces. He was not even worthy to tire. And it says here in the book of Yakahana. 1 John 1 5. Yachahan speaking unto the scattered house of Israel. He emphatically expressed. 1 John 1 5. He said, This then is the Bezurach, the message, the truth, the teaching, the power of revelation, which we have heard of him. Which we have Yenach of him, which has been delivered by him. 
the entrance, the petak, the opening of the wisdom, the gala, the uncovering of the shod, the secret things of Yah. It brings revelation. You know what troubled me more than anything? I'm going to teach on that, this kit ve'imet. That these damn wicked men, and those that call themselves Hebrews, and say they know truth. When they talk about this end time, their scenario is painted just like the wicked ones. Like the T.D. Jakes. Just like the Benny Hens. These are damn liars and dogs. They don't know what the end time, the ark arith. They are dumb dogs. They are dumb dogs. They are blind leading the blind. I will show a simple truth on Keith Ve. Is that all right? All right. This then is the bizarrak which we have heard from of him. And we declare or we open it up unto you. He says that almighty Yahweh is, oh, he is light. He is the excellence. His bosom is filled with instructions. His bosom is filled with the seven ruachim of light. The seven ruachim, the ruach ha'chodash, the ruach of uh, mishpat of judgment, the ruach of uh, yarei yira, the fear of Yah. Come on, this, this is the light of Yah. The ruach of wisdom and understanding of za'at, that this is what he's talking about. And all of that, the power of that was elevated beyond the power, the will of any fleshly nature in the body of Yahshua HaMashiach. You can call him a, a brother all you want to. It's a damn lie. He's greater than a brother. A brother's a born adversary. He was not adversary, had no adversarial type of uh, a reply unto Yisrael. He showed us our sins. He was a light that shone. He was a, near, he was a lamp that glistened. And, and when they saw him, they, uh, uh, they loved their darkness more than light. So they tried to hide their wickedness in this wicked world. Give me two minutes, King. Hallelujah. It says that, uh, that he did declare that Yah is light and in him is no, no darkness, no hoshach, no hoshach, no darkness. You can't find one slither. You can find darkness in one just a brother and ak or an ahot. You can find no darkness in Yeshua HaMashiach. And so they're relegating him to that stance now, Yisrael. You'll be surprised how this is proliferating everywhere. These deceitful dogs of hell. Uh, these are children of darkness. These are the Esav. Uh, and they think that those that have certain skin complexion are the Esav. These are the Esav because they have sold out the birthright to be gotten of Yeshua for a damn stupid doctrine that they are all complicit with uh, and they comply with. Let them go to hell. If we say we have fellowship with Almighty Yah and walk in darkness, then we are full of shekhar, we are full of lies. We are of our father, the devil, Hashatan. He says, and we do not, we don't fashion ourselves. That little word, D-O, it has great ramifications in the Hebraic language. It is asa, it is the fashion, to fashion one's mind, to walk, to conform, to capitulate, to strive. So asa is that we fashion ourselves. He says, uh, they say they love Yah and they do not love. No ability, no strength cannot. When Yah says lo, it means it cannot be done. Nothing will come. They do not, they do not operate in the truth. He says, but if we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship one with the other. And he tells us, listen, uh, I don't give a damn what they say. He tells us that the dam of Yahshua, it is the blood of Yahshua that cleanses us uh, from all of our sins. Uh, it is that dumb. He's greater than a brother. He is the offering. He is the perfect offering. He is the perfect zabach. He's offering of cleansing. What about the bullock and the eyes could not do? You're sure did it. These are lies that they are purporting. You follow these damn lies. You're going to be damned, Yisrael. Jehu says in Ephesians 5, 8, for we were sometime walking in darkness. Ephesians 5, 8. But now are you light? Where? In your Shua HaMashiach. Walk as children of light. That's the only way we're going to walk in the light. In your Shua. 
Come on, brothers despise brothers. When he's a brother, he is not even a friend. No man, no greater love than this that a friend, a re'ah, will lay down his life for a re'ah. He did not say love your brothers. He told us to love our neighbors, to love our re'ah, to love our friends. That's what he commands us, Yisra'ah. Brothers are born adversaries. Come on, I fought with my brothers and did every kind of wicked thing. You know where I'm coming from, Zachim. Fought with them too. All right. We had our battles too. I've never fought with one of my friends. One more, Zakim, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shirak says this. Shirak, I want to read two more and I'm going to sit down. Shirak 1726. This wise orator, orator of education. And the great university in Yerushalayim instructions unto the pupil like Shaul. He instructed them in the wise counsel of Yah. He says, turn again to the Most High, Almighty Yahweh. And he says, I want you to turn away from your iniquity, from your ovon, your perverse, wicked ways, your uncleanliness. For he will lead you out of darkness into the lights of Rafa, of health, where your mind rejoices and dance like David commanded us. We do the things that are pleasing unto Yah. He said he will lead you to into the light of health, and this is the catalyst here, and hate to abominations intensely. We don't hate that which is abominable and vile and wicked before Yah. And the conclusion of all the light, he says in Revelation 22, 5, in the kingdom and the culmination of it all, Giliana 22, 5, and there shall be no night there, and there shall be no need of a candle, neither light of the sun. Why? For Almighty Yahweh the Abba, he gives them light. He gives us the full revelation of Yahshua. He gives us the power, the knowledge of Yahshua. We will see him as he is uh, because we will be like him. Uh, he grants the light, Yisrael. Yahshua is the light of your kingdom. Uh, you don't have that mind that please you. Uh, you have no knowledge of the light. Uh, you must have the testimonial. You are sure in order to have knowledge of the light. And these are devils out of hell. They're raised up by hell. Raised up by hell. Everybody got a teaching. Everybody got a truth. For you shall give them light. And they shall reign. Ulam vi ets. Ulam forever and ever. Without Yahshua HaMashiach, there is no light. There is no ma'or. That's why people can't rejoice. Because there is no ma'or. They don't get excited when they hear the name of Omar Yah. When you hear the name of Omar Yahweh, it is the name of Yahshua. It is a consummate name of his living Torah. You can't have one without the other. You can't have light without Yah. And your shoe is that light. And the reason that men don't love the light because they love darkness more than they love light. Uh, and they despise that. Uh, damn their gods. Their gods not worth a damn. Do you understand me? Damn every god. Damn their Christo. These are damn lies out of hell. It's either a lie. Oh, the truth. I wanted to sing a song, but that's all right. Hallelujah. What's that song, Yosipia, you sang on last week? Yeah. Hallelujah. On Kitfe. What the songs you sing? You remember? I know that Yah. Come on, play a few verses of that before Zakei come. I know that Yah will fix it for us. I know. He will, I know that you are. Come on, stand to your feet. We'll fix it for you. Oh, he will. If I leave, come 
on. All right, come on. I know we are. He will fix that. Oh, he will fix it for me. I know he will fix it for me. Bring him a mic, come on. Oh, to the heart of Yah, oh, I live by all the commands of Yah. Oh, I know that Yah, oh, he will fix it for me. I know that Yah, oh, I know. Yah will fix it for Israel. I know. Will fix it for me if I hope to the hands of the arm. Live by Torah command. Oh, I know, I know, I know he will fix it. Me. Come on, yes, I, I, come on. I know, I know the God. He will fix it for me. For this, my God. I know that Yah will fix it for you. He will fix it for us all. Oh, if I hope to receive to Yeshua Hamashiach, oh, if I thought I'd come back, I know, I know, I know. Hallelujah! I know Yah. Come on, sing. I know that God he will fight. He will for fight. Oh, he will fight for us. We've got a home oh, to ascend to the high and live by the power. Oh, I know that I know that God will fight. I know he will fight. Hallelujah. I know Yahweh. I like that. He will fix it for you. Oh, I know. He will fix it for you. I know Yahweh. He will fix it for you. Oh, I know. He will. Oh, but we got a hope to ascend to the heart of God. And I know Yahweh. I know. He will fix it for you. Come on, come on. I know I know that God he will stand for oh, yes, I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know Yahweh. I know God I know I know Yahweh. Oh, but we've got to hold to ascend. Oh, to the hands of God. Oh, to the hands of God. Oh, I know Yahweh. Come on, 
Come and shout hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift your voices. Lift your hands and shout hallelujah. 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 You may be seated, Israel. For we know that Yahweh, he will. And we also realize and understand that Yahweh, he has. He has fixed it for Yisra'ya. He has provided a way for us to come boldly in his presence. It's not the presence of Yahweh, his Ruach, in the midst of Yisra'ya. Where there are two or three gathered, he promised there he would be in the midst, hallelujah, of Yisra'ya. So Yahweh, he has fixed it. He has provided a way in Yahshua HaMashiach. He is the Torah, the Mishvah, that has come forth from the Shemayim. And he dwelt in an earthen vessel. Just as we are in an earthen vessel, Yisrael. Hallelujah. So that's basically what I want to, want to teach on today. I somewhat started this teaching uh, some weeks, maybe a few months ago, concerning the vessel. We are vessels, Yisrael. Yes. Yahweh has deemed us worthy That's all right, my friend. to be endowed or filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. That's all right. He has chosen the weak and beggarly things. Well, we're not made for dust. Yeah. Think about that. That same dirt you tread upon. Yeah. That same dirt you sweep out of your homes. Yeah. You wash it out of your clothes. Yeah. The filthy stuff yeah. that stains. Yeah. Yahweh has chosen that. He has chosen us. Vessels, if I may use this term, of dishonor. We know that there are all kinds of vessels in the Baya Yisrael of Almighty Yahweh. Yet, he did not choose the vessels of gold, the vessels of silver. It was not a malak that Yahweh chose to uh, take away the sins of Yisrael. He put it in an earthen vessel. And as I begin this, Yisrael, I will show us today the purpose. Even when it came to offering the sin offering amongst Yisrael, they did not use the, the vessels of the gold and of the silver that which one was destroyed because of the sin, but he used clay. He used dirt. And in that we find the power of the Ruach HaKodesh of Almighty Yahweh. Just in Yahshua HaMashiach. He did not come as a Malak and dwelt among the earth. Yes, Yahweh allowed him to be clothed yes. in this same vessel. Why? Yes. That the power of his Ruach will be manifest yes. and that the perfect, listen to this now, yes, the perfect offering, the Zabah, yes. will be made for the house of Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That we may be perfect. Hallelujah. As he is perfect, Yisrael. Yes. Don't you want to be perfect? Yes. Don't you want Yahweh to use you? Yes. Hallelujah. But you want to be that vessel he has chosen. I want to be that vessel, hallelujah, that he has chosen to show what his power and his anointing, that we may stand in the strength of Yahshua HaMashiach, that we not allow Satan, hallelujah, to trample us over, that we not allow our emotions to consume us, Yisraeli, but that we allow the power of the Ruach HaKodesh to shine forth, with this oil, Yisrael, for we are his people and we are his chosen. We are his chosen vessels. Hallelujah. Even from the beginning of all things, when Yahweh, he created Adam from the dust, even the Melachim looked down and they wondered with great admiration, what is this thing that Yahweh is doing? That even Satan, he looked and said, what is this piece of trash? What is, what is he going to do with this? He made us a little lower than the Melachim. Hallelujah. Why? That we will be able to taste of certain things that Yahweh has allowed us to experience. Pain, death, sicknesses. Do not, these bodies, they are vessels of all kinds of things. All kinds of diseases start here in the body. It starts here in the flesh, Yisrael. Yet Yahweh, he chose us. Satan looked at us and he spat, what is this, Yah, that you have done? But yet, Yahweh, he's seen the end of what he has started. The enemy did not know what he was doing. He did not understand what Yahweh has wrought for. 
and his people, and even in Yahshua HaMashiach, it shows the example, Yisrael, of what we must endure, hallelujah, and what we must encounter, that we may come forth as these pure vessels unto Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. So let me begin here, Yisrael, on this day, this beautiful Shabbat that Yahweh has given us. Again, we do greet you all. Yisrael, y'all that are scattered abroad, our, fi- our friends, our enemies, those that listen in to scrutinize, we welcome you all here, hallelujah, hallelujah. this day. Turn with me to Leviticus, we're chapter 6, verse 24. I want to begin here, hallelujah, hallelujah. concerning the sent offerings, Yisrael, and the purpose of the earthen vessel, and what was the plight, yes. what was the in result, hallelujah, of what Yahweh has allowed even from the beginning of, of all things. He says in Rayira Leviticus chapter 6, verse 25, hallelujah. Speak unto Aharon yes. and to his sons, saying, yes. This is the Torah, the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, shall the sin offering be killed yes. before all, Almighty Yahweh, and this place, it is most Kodesh. Yahweh has established it. This is his will. He said, the Kohen that offers it for a sin, he shall eat it. He shall partake of it. And the Kodesh place where it is eaten. And the court of the tent of the congregation. And it says here, whatsoever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be set apart. It shall be separated. And when there is the sprinkling of the dharma, of the blood, thereof upon any garment, you shall wash that whereon it was sprinkled in the Kodesh place. Yisrael. We have been sprinkled by the dharma of Yahshua. We have been washed in the dharma, Yisrael. We have been made clean. But let me move to the purpose where I want to get to. It says in verse 28 now, that the earthen vessel, does it say the earthen vessel? What is the earthen vessel? It's one made of clay. Yeah. It is porous. Unless it is sealed and unless the heat is put to that vessel mm-hmm. properly, what is, what, what is that, what they use to seal the, the vessels? It's a type of lacquer or urethane yes. or something crystalline that has to endure the heat that the vessel is sealed. Why? Because the earthen vessel in itself is porous. Sure it, is. it absorbs anything that is put therein. So Yahweh, he has designed this even from the beginning, the flesh, this body, to be one that absorbs the sin, whether it be of sicknesses or diseases, because there's a purpose, Yisrael. Hallelujah, there's a purpose. Let me read on. But the earthen vessels, and again, we're talking about the the vessels of dishonor. Hallelujah, Yahweh has chosen to bring honor to Yisrael. But the earthen vessel, wherein it was sodden, it was soaking, it was poured into It shall be what? It shall be broken. It shall be broken. The sin. Anything that is not of Almighty Yahweh, it shall be broken. Think about it, Israel. Even the potter's house. Are we not in the potter's house today? We want Yahweh to mold us and to make us. We are are the clay, Israel. But anything that offends Almighty Yahweh, it shall be cast and it shall be broken. Even in the part of the house when the vessel is broken, he, before he even put into the kindle, if it wasn't what he desired it to be, yeah. he broke it down into pieces, sodded it, and then remade it. Sure. Why? That it may be in the image that he desires. Yeah. And the image that he wants, Yisrael. Yeah. It's going to take a breaking in the house of Yisrael. Yeah. 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 It's going to take his judgment, Yisrael. Yeah. Why? Because of the sin. Because of the things that the flesh or the things that we are allowed to enter in that corrupts us. So it's going to take the breaking of the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. That we be made the vessels that he desired, Yisrael. That Yahweh will use us. It says that this breast, this vessel, it is sodden, it shall be broken. And if, and if it be sodden in a bronze pot, now listen to this, it shall be both scoured and rinsed with water. It shall be cleansed. See, the brass vessel was saved. But yet that which was made out of clay, Yahweh said, at this time, allow it to be broken. It is filthy before my sight. But yet even in that, he allowed that vessel 
to partake of something that is so powerful, Yisrael, that I can't even understand it, really. But it was a privilege even to that earthen vessel, Yisrael. It's a privilege for us as Yisrael to be used, to be broken, to be used up of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. They're not Yahshua HaMashiach. I don't want to get ahead of myself, Yisrael. But even when he was on that stake, that even the sins of Yisrael and all the Olam, it was placed upon him, was it not? Was he not an earthly vessel? He was not a man of Kim, Yisrael. He was sent from Ohio, but even Yahweh wrapped him in this cloak that was made even lower than the Melikim. But yet, he used him. He used that vessel. He used Yahshua in that weak form of the flesh to show his power, the power of his Ruach HaKodesh, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Let us, allow, let us allow Yahweh to use us today, Israel. He said that the, the bronze vessel, it shall be both scoured and rinsed with water. It says in verse 29, all the males among the Kohim shall eat thereof. It is Mosh Kodesh. Verse 30. And no sin offering whereof any dom or blood is brought into the tent of the congregation to reconcile with all in the Kodesh place. That shall not be eaten, shall be eaten. It shall be burnt with, with fire. Hallelujah. Let us move on. I want to show us another example of this earth and clay. How Yahweh desires to use us or to use these vessels, Yisrael. The same chapter, Rayera Leviticus. I mean, I'm going to move to the 11th chapter of the same book. Verse 29. Hallelujah. Use us, Yah. That your will may be wrought in the house of Israel. It says in Reira, Leviticus chapter 11, verse 29. It says here, these also shall be unclean to you among the creeping things. Are they not creeping things, Israel? Things that crawl about, even in the earth, Israel? But even in these bodies. If we don't allow the Ruach of Almighty Yahweh through his Torah to cleanse everything, Israel, there are things that creep, that hide in the dark places of your love, Israel. Also, shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things upon the earth, the weasel, the mouse, the tortoise after its kind, the ferret, and the chameleon, and the lizard, the snail, and the mole, verse 31. These things are unclean unto you among all that creep. Sure. Whosoever does touch them when they be dead mm-hmm. shall be unclean until the evening. See, so we should not even touch those creeping things that are dead, Yisrael. Those things that are dead within our hearts and within our minds, Yisrael. Oh, the things that do not bring forth the honor of Almighty Yahweh. And do not show forth his, the greatness of his abundance in our lives, Yisrael. Those things need to be cleaned out of our lives, Yisrael. How? Only by the word, by the fire of Almighty Yahweh. We need to allow those things to cleanse us, Yisrael. Yeah. Moving on, verse 32. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, does fall, it shall be unclean. Whether it be any vessels of wood or raiment or skin or sack, Whatsoever vessel it be wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the evening. So it shall be unclean. Now listen to this. Now, those earthen vessels that we read, even the sack, the vessels of wood, those things, they were not destroyed, but they were cleansed. And they remained unclean until the evening. But listen what happens to the earthen vessel. The demise of the earthen vessel, if I may say. And every earthen vessel of clay, where unto any of them falls, whatsoever in it, it shall be unclean. It says here, you shall break it. It shall be destroyed. Abolished. No remnants of it. Yisrael. See, we as a people, Yisrael, we must be in down with the Ruach of Almighty Yahweh. Because we in this earthen state without the Ruah, we're not worth anything. We're made to be destroyed. We're made to be wiped out. Unclean, filthy. 
does not even amount to the minister rag of a woman. Worthless. That's what we are, Israel. The flesh is worthless. Just as the grass, it grows and it withers away, so, 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 so does the flesh. From the dirt it came, and to the dirt it should return. But yet Yahweh, he took it and has used these earthen vessels in a way that is so profound. The, Mel the Melchim did not understand. Satan, he could not find out what Yahweh is doing. Because he has done something so powerful to the house of Israel that he has chosen us. Hallelujah. He's chosen us to be filled with the Ruach. And just as Yahshua came to abolish or to uh, destroy the works of sin yes. in the body, yes. so must we and so shall we destroy the sin yes. and those things that beset us, Yisrael. Yes. He has given us that power to walk without sin yes. and to destroy those things yes. that brings dishonor in his presence, Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. But we must have the Ruach HaKodesh. Let us move on. Again, the 14th chapter, the same book, Israel, verse 1. And then we're going to move on. Hallelujah. I brought Yahweh that he has chosen me. Worthless. He has pulled me out of a horrible pit. He has found me yet swaddling and waddling my own blood. Hallelujah. But yet he reached down. And he picked us up, Israel. And he said that you are mine. You are my chosen. You are my elect vessels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 14, verse 1. And Yahweh, he spoke unto Moshe, saying, This shall be the Torah of the leper in the day of his cleansing. Have we not all been lepers, Israel? Yes. Don't you know the flesh carry all kinds of diseases? Yes. Flesh eating diseases. It's almost been designed to self destruct itself, Israel. Yes. He shall be brought unto the Kohen, and the Kohen shall go forth out of the camp. And the Kohen shall look and behold, if the plague of leprosy be healed yes. in the leper. It shall be the Kohen's command to take from, from, for him that which is to be cleansed, two birds alive and clean. Hallelujah. This is the offering at this time. It had to be alive and it had to be been clean. And cedar wood and scarlet and hyssop. What is hyssop? It's an herb, Israel, that when it's taken, it's designed to cleanse and to purge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Yeah. Wash me with your Torah, Almighty Yahweh, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Yeah. Verse 5, it says here, And the Kohen shall, co shall command one of these birds to be killed in what? An earthen vessel over running water. Yeah. Did you see the death? That's all right. Even of the pure offering? That's all right. Which represents Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. Pure. White, without spot or blemish. Yet Yahweh allowed Yahshua for us to taste death in an earthen vessel. Yet with the cleansing and the running of the pure water of the Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. That we may be cleansed from all of our sins, Yisrael. Hallelujah. So even in what I read, we understand and we see what the design of an earthen vessel is for. What Yahweh has allowed, even a vessel that is so weak even amongst the eyes of man. But yet Yahweh has taken that to take away the sins of Israel. Yes. And not only that, but to redeem us Hallelujah. and to give us life. Yes. And, a, and a expect the end, Israel, in the presence of Almighty Yahweh. Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. And Yahweh, he has chosen us, Israel, to walk in the same path without sin. With the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahshua HaMashiach. That we may please him and co in all that we do, Israel. Yeah. Turn with me to Jeremiah, chapter 19, verse 1. Hallelujah. Concerning the potter's house and the breaking of the vessel, Israel. Yeah. We need to be broken before Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. We have 
tried to make ourselves and prove ourselves. And what has it brought forth? Vessels that are cracked, that are dismembered, just as the Olam it was, was without form and it was void. That is a picture of the house of Israel. We were all without form and without void. But what happened, as we heard earlier? Yahweh, he spoke. He allowed his light to shine, his understanding, his oil to shine, Yisrael. And out of that dark, dismembered thing, he brought forth life. Did he not, Yisrael? Do we not see the beauty of the life of Almighty Yahweh in the earth and in the world? No man has placed his hands upon it and has attempted and is trying and have destroyed Certain things, yet we still see the beauty of Almighty Yahweh, even as it rejuvenates itself and replenishes itself, Yisrael. So it says here in Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 1, Thus saith Yahweh, go and get a potter's earthen bottle and take the ascendant of the people and the ascendants of the Kohen. And go forth to the valley of the son of Hinnom, which by the entry of the east gate, and proclaim there the words that I shall tell you. And say, Shema, hear you the word of Yahweh, O king of Yahuda, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. Is not Yahweh speaking? Yes. Has not this been commanded from the throne of Almighty Yahweh? Yes. The sovereign ruler of Israel, behold, now this is the example of this earthen vessel now. I will bring evil upon this place, and with whosoever hears, his ears they shall tingle. Because they have forsaken me. Have we not forsaken Almighty Yahweh? Have we not discounted even his very misfire and his Torah, Yisrael. We have fallen short, have we not? Because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have burnt incense in it to other gods. It was not used for me. It was used for the flesh, for the lust. Even there had been those that even took their bame of their children and they sacrificed them unto the God of Moloch and Mokah. And not unto Almighty Yah. Yes. We should give our bodies as an offering unto Yah. Our children yes. belong unto Almighty Yahweh, Yisrael. Yes. Who neither they nor their fathers have known. Did not even know what they were worshiping. That's true. Their gods had no names. Sure. No background. Yes. That's all right. Nor the kings of Yehuda. And have filled this place Hallelujah. with the blood of the innocent. Yes. We have spilled innocent blood. Was not the Dom of Yahshua? Was that not innocent? It was innocent, Yisrael. He did not sin in the flesh as we sin, Yisrael. Yeah, it was his Dom that was spilled for our cleansing. They have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal. Which I commanded not. He didn't command that, Yisrael. It was not his will. Nor spoke it. Neither came it even into my mind. Verse 6. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that this place shall no longer be called Tupah, Tupah, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter of destruction, of blood. Verse 7. And I will make void the counsels of Yehuda and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies. We know if we fall, as I have mentioned, and that we hear so often before, our enemies, you little as our strength, Yisrael. Why? Because we have not walked in the Torah in the midst of Almighty Yahweh. We have not obeyed his commandments as we should, Yisrael. So he allowed the sword to be brought unto the house of Israel that we fall before our enemies. And by the hands of them that seek their lives and their carcasses 
will I give to be meat for the fowls of the Shemayim and for the beasts of the earth? Moving on in verse 8. He said, I will make this city desolate and a hissing. Everyone that passes by shall be astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof. Hallelujah. This is talking about the house of Israel. Because we have allowed things into the bayat, into these earthen vessels. Yes. That Yahweh, he did, not, uh, pre, he did not allow. It was not written in the Torah, Yisrael, that we should do these things. That we should walk after these sins. Yes. That we should sacrifice offerings unto God, unto our flesh, yes. unto Satan. Yes. And because of that, all kinds of plagues yes. and things entered in. Did not Yahweh promise even Yisrael when they were bound in the land of Mizraim, the land of Gosha? Yes. Yet he said that if you abide in my Mishvah and my Torah and in this place, that I will not allow these curses Hallelujah. or these things Hallelujah. to yeah. inflorate you, yeah. to consume you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we must abide in the place that Yahweh has commanded Yisrael. We must abide in the Torah. We must abide in Yahshua HaMashiach. And be led by the Ruach HaKodesh, Israel. And he will not allow this thing or these plagues to come upon us. Verse 9. He said, I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons. Isn't that so vile? And of the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend. And the siege and straightness, Israel. They're with their enemies, and they shall seek their lives, and shall straighten them. Verse 10. Then shall you break the bottle. This is showing the example of the bottle. The earthen vessel that has encountered so many things. Yahweh, he designed these vessels to be vessels unto him. To be used by him, Yisrael, and for his purpose. But yet, as we are in these vessels of clay and flesh, we have allowed every kind of corruption to enter in and to corrupt ourselves, Yisrael. So he says then, using this example, he said, Go, then you shall break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with you, and you shall say to them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, even so, will I break this people and this city. Talking about Jerusalem. He's talking about us, Yisrael. As one breaks a potter's vessel, yes. that it cannot be made whole again. Uh, beautiful. How can we be made whole again, Yisrael? This doesn't show much hope for a vessel, does it not? But yet Yahweh, he is able. He is more than able. Do we not sing the song that Yahweh, that he will fix it? Yes. Hallelujah. Yahweh is able to fix this broken vessel, Yisrael. Yes. Yahweh is able to make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. Let us move on. And it says, they shall bury them in Tobet, Tophet, till there be no place to bury. Thus will I do this, saith Yahweh, and to the inhabitants thereof, and then make this city as Tophet. Verse 13. And the house of Jerusalem and the house of the kings of Yehuda shall be defiled as the place of Tophet. Because of all the houses upon whose roofs they have burnt incense, and all the hosts of the Shemayims have poured out drink offerings to other gods. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have offered everything there is to offer unto the gods, unto our flesh, unto the God of lies, unto the gods of lust. Yes. Yes. But we're not ha we have not offered the offering of Todah unto Almighty Yahweh as we should, yes. Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. But yet Yahweh, he shall take this broken vessel and this broken house. He should take a people, as it says, that has not been a people unto him, he and he shall make us a people yes. and a vessel of honor unto him. He's going to take this vessel of this honor and make it a vessel of honor, Yisrael. Yeah. He has wrought something so mighty. He has showed this example in Yahshua HaMashiach. 
and has enlightened it unto the house of Israel. Hallelujah. I want to be perfect in his presence. I desire to be like Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. He has come in the likeness of sinful flesh, yet without sin. Without sin, Yisrael. Without sin. Let us move on. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 1. Hallelujah. Was not Yahshua HaMashiach, was not he marred by the beating? Because of the sin that was laid upon his body, Israel. That's what sin does to a vessel. That's what sin does to these bodies. It, it rapes it. It takes the strength of it. It mars it that even the image of it, it cannot be recognized. That even these earthen vessels, we, we, can't, it, we don't even understand the workings of Almighty Yahweh. Because of the mowing of it. We do not see the honor of it, Yisrael, yes. even at this time. Yes. But yet when we see Yahshua HaMashiach, right. we should be made like unto him, perfect. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Do we see him, Yisrael? Yes. We should be able even to look upon him today. Yes. The Mishnah and the Torah. Yes. And see what Almighty Yahweh has done. Yes. With this vessel. But yet, he was marred like, like no other man. That even his disciple and those that followed him, Yisrael, he, it was, he was almost irrecognizable. Yes, right. Yisrael, this is the body of, of Yisrael. Yes. We're not recognized. That's right. We don't see what we shall be, Yisrael. Yes. But yet the revelation of Almighty Yahweh through Yahshua HaMashiach, he shows us through his work and what he has done, the beauty. And the power as he shall raise us up. Yeah. Lift us up, Yisrael. Yeah. And the Ruach, in the same Ruach, in the same spirit of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. This is the power of Almighty Yah yeah. that has been wrought, Yisrael, yeah, in these earthen vessels, in our vessels, these vessels of clay, the vessels that have been made vessels of dishonor, to just be broken and not used again. But yet, Yahweh, he has used the weak things, the things that even, even, it's profound even to the eyes of man that they cannot understand Yisrael to show his power. Thus saith Yahweh to me, Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 1, Go and get you a linen girdle. A linen girdle. This is even a type of a vessel, Yisrael. The linen. What should, what should, girdle, what should girdle us? What should be and kept around by thy loins? Should it not be truth? Yes. Should it not be the word of Almighty Yahweh, the Torah of Yah? We should keep it close to us and keep it tight, Yisrael. Hallelujah. But I'm going to show us an example of Yisrael, of us today, that Yahweh uses in this, in this vessel or in this linen. Hallelujah. He says, go and get you a linen girdle and put it upon your loins. Our loins should be girdled with truth, should it not, Yisrael? Yeah. And put it not in water. So I got a girdle, he says in Jeremiah, according to the word of Yahweh, and I put it, it on my loins. I wrapped it upon my loins. And the word of Yahweh came to me the second time saying, take this girdle that you have got, which is upon your loins, and arise, and go to Euphrates, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. He wants to hide it there in a hole of a rock, Yisrael. Verse 5. He says, so I went and I, hid, and I hid it by Euphrates as Yahweh had commanded. And it came to pass after many days that Yahweh said to me, Arise and go to your phrase and take the girdle from thence and I command you to hide it there. Then I went to Euphrates and dug and took the girdle from the place where I laid it and behold it says the girdle it was marred. It was filthy. It was torn. 
a type of Yisrael, mar, of sin. No use for anything. He commanded him not to wash it, don't clean it, but I want you to place it in that hidden place. Hallelujah, this is the house of Yisrael. He said, and then the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, thus saith Yahweh, after this manner, he said, I will mar the pride of Yahuda. We have been risen in pride, Israel. Yeah. We have allowed ourselves to be exalted and exceed the, the, the word of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. That we even disclaim it. We say, this, this is not for us. We shall walk in our own ways. Mm-hmm. And what that has done, it has caused us to be more. Yeah. It has caused us to be filled with all kind of clean things and diseases and swords and leprosy, Israel. Yeah. He said, thus saith Yahweh after this manner, I will mar the pride of Yahuda and the great pride of Jerusalem. And he says this, this evil people. Has Yahweh looked upon us as a house and declared us evil, yeah. wicked, yeah. not walking in the Torah of Almighty Yahweh? Hallelujah. Yes. He said, this evil people, which what? Refuse. Did I not talk about that on uh, Kudvei Mint? That we resist Almighty Yahweh? We refuse his commandments? Just as Yisrael Yah resisted Moshe and Aharon, so do we to the messengers of Almighty Yahweh. He says this. He said, I refuse to Shemot to hear my words, which walk in the imagination and the idleness. And the imagination of their own hearts. And walk after other gods. What are other gods, Israel? Do you recall me talking about uh, the the gods and how they have no no strength? They have no power. They cannot breathe. They have hands but cannot touch. They have eyes but cannot see. These are what the gods are, Yisrael. They have no power. Not even worthy to be even compared or mentioned amongst the house of Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, And walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them shall even be as this girdle or girdle, Yisrael. Which is profitable for nothing. Is this what we hold close to our hearts? Yes. Have we wrapped ourselves with this type of girdle, Yisrael, yes. that is filthy? Yes. It's not used for nothing. There's no use for it, Yisrael, filled with blood. Yes. Let us move on. Hallelujah. Verse 11. It says, for as the girdle cleaves to the loins of man. So have I caused to cleave to me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Yehuda. Did you hear that? That even in this state, that Almighty Yahweh has not yet cast us off and has not destroyed us, Israel. He could have just as easily made another garment, could he not? He could have as easily destroyed us as a nation and as a people and brought forth another people. But just as Moshe stood in the gap and reminded Almighty Yahweh as he was moving in his aff and in his displeasure, he said, you cannot do that because you have spoken that you should take this people and the seed of this nation and bring forth a mighty people. So I brought Yahweh that he has not cast us off. Hallelujah. Even, we, even though we have been brought as this filthy garment, Israel, yet Yahweh has held us close. Why? Because there's a purpose for this, Yisrael. Yeah. Yahweh, he should show his might and his power. Yeah. He said, for as the girl are cleaved to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave to me the whole house of Yisrael and the whole house of Yahuda, saith what? Saith Yahweh. He has not let go of us, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He has picked us out of this pit and out of our blood, Yisrael. Our neighbor cut was, was not even cut properly. But yet Yahweh has took us. He has trimmed the neighbor cut, gave us his life. He has washed us and cleansed us. Yes, right, yeah. 
And he will show forth his power, hallelujah, by his Torah. He said that they might be to me for a people of inheritance, a mighty people, a nation, for a name and for a praise. Don't you see what Yahweh has done, Yisrael, in this example? And for what? A beauty. There's nothing beautiful about a, a minister rag or a filthy cloth. But yet Yahweh said, I should take this, and my Torah shall make you, and shall make us, make this filthy thing, and shall cleanse it, and make it whole, and make it complete, Israel, for a beauty. But what? But they would not hear. This is the desire of Almighty Yahweh to make us, Israel. But we must shumak. We must hear the words of Almighty Yahweh. We must cease from our sins. We must turn from our wicked ways, Israel. That Yahweh may make us whole and make us clean. Verse 12. He says, therefore, you shall speak to them this word. Thus saith Yahweh, the sovereign ruler of Israel, every bottle, every bottle, every vessel, that shall be filled with wine, and they shall say to you, do we not certainly know or understand that every bottle shall be filled with this wine? Do we understand that, Israel? Help me, God. That every vessel, everybody shall be filled yes, yes. with this wine or with this yes. thing, Israel? Verse 13. Then you shall say to them, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon Dawi's throne, and the Kohim, that the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. With this wine of drunkenness, Israel. That's what Yahweh should fill us with. He said, I will dash them against another. What happens when you dash vessels together, whether it's glass or whether it's clay, what happens? They break. They mar. He said, I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, says Yahweh. And he said, I will not pity he said, I will not spare, nor have mercy, but I will destroy them. He says, hear you, and give here, and be not proud, for Yahweh has spoken. Yes, should, we, should we continue to walk under this pride, lifting ourselves above the Torah of Almighty Yahweh? We're not above the Torah. It is the Torah that makes us who we are, Israel. It is Yahshua HaMashiach, the word. That has redeemed us from this state yeah. and from this destruction, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Have not Yahweh sent the mercies yes. of his Ahava and Yahshua HaMashiach? Yeah. For this is our plight, Israel, yeah. to be filled with this wine of drunkenness, not of the Ruach. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about the wine of your own sins, yes. being drunk with your own iniquity. And he allowed you to clash even the Avats and the, and the, the sons, the daughters and the Ema. That, that even at the house, it shall destroy it, Israel. Yeah. But you know, if we do not stand one with another in the rock, how could that Almighty Yahweh? If we do not come together as a people, then we will destroy one another, Israel. Yeah. That we will bite and devour one another, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. So let us search our lives on this beautiful day, this Shabbat that Yahweh has given us. He has given us a truth from his Shemayim, Yisrael. That we may walk according to all of his statutes. Hallelujah. And that we not walk after these things that displease him, Yisrael. Talking about vessels of honor, vessel of dishonor, Yisrael. Yahweh has not cast us off. We are still his people. Hallelujah. Verse 16. Again, give honor to Yahweh, your Almighty, before he has caused darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while you look for the ore or for the light, should we not look for the light, Yahshua HaMashiach? Do we not hear about the light of the ore that has come from the Shemayim Yisrael? He said, and while you look for the light, he turned it into the shadow of death. And make it gross darkness. 
This is the judgment of Yahweh. We should look for the light, Yisrael. We should look for the oil, Yahshua HaMashiach. Even yet at the judgment of Yahweh should we cry out, hallelujah, for his mercies. He said, but if you will not hear, he said, my nephew shall weep in secret places for your pride. And my eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears because Yahweh's flock is carried away captive. This is what happened to a people that, that deny the word of Almighty Yahweh. That do not walk in his statutes. This is what has happened unto the house of Israel. This is why the house is scattered as it is, Israel. But yet Yahweh, he shall bring all of us together, Israel. How? By great armies? By weaponry? Is that how he's going to do it? Certainly not by our own pride, because we lift ourselves up, but by Yahshua HaMashiach, the living Torah. There's no other way, Israel, that we should be made whole and that we should be made clean. See, I want to go through the process that Yahweh desires. Well, because we're in a, a wasteland. Yahweh has brought us into the wilderness to try us, Israel. But we don't have to be broken in this matter if we walk after the Torah of Yah. If we walk after the Ruach of Yahshua HaMashiach. If we allow Yahweh to work out his tough work and his tough pleasure as he molds us. As he makes us into a vessel, Yahweh, Yisrael, a vessel that pleases him. A vessel that is able to, to disperse sin, to destroy sin, and to walk in the integrity of his love, Yisrael. Just as Yahshua HaMashiach walked in the integrity yes. of Almighty Yahweh. That's what he desires for us, Yisrael. That's his delight, yes. that we delight in him yes. and in all that he does, Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us move on to Jeremiah chapter 18. Bear with me, Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For Yahweh again has taken the small things and the filthy things, the things that even we discard as a people. But yet he has made them mighty through his Torah. He did not choose the Malachim, the art Malachim. But he has chosen a people to place his Ruach in as vessels, Yisrael. Though yet vessels of this honor, Yahweh has brought us to honor. Because he has chosen us to carry his Ruach, Yisrael. To carry his word, to proclaim his word, to proclaim his judgment. Amongst the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moving on to Jeremiah. Chapter 18. Verse 1. To verse 10. I do want to read. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yet. We see the house of Israel right now. As a vessel that has been marred. By sin. By iniquity. The judgment of almighty Yahweh. Because we have not continued. In his word. Because we have not continued in his mitzvah. We have not allowed the Ruach of Yahshua HaMashiach to lead us. And yet we have seen the, this example of this sin even upon his body. Yes. On the state, Israel. Yet every strife was even for the healing of the nations. Sure not the nations of the world. That's, right. That's not what it was for. That's right. It was for the nations of the, the people of Israel yes. that we may be healed as tribes. And that we will be brought once again together as a house. Hallelujah. That when we lift up our voices together and Cassandra, and we'll even drown out even the voices in the Shemayim Jezraya. Why? Because of the testimony and the things we have endured and the things we have gone through and knowing that it has been Almighty Yahweh that has brought us Teshua, that has brought us victory, that has brought his healing Israel. Jeremiah 18.1. He said, the word which came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house and hear my words. And he said, and I went. Shouldn't we go to the potter's house, Israel? This is the potter's house. The Bayah Israel. We come here that Yahweh may mold us by his Torah and by his Mishnah into what? He wants us to be. This is our making. We're not yet done. 
Hallelujah. But there is nothing Yahweh has started that he shall not finish. And when it is finished, it is perfect. And when you look at that perfect thing or that vessel, whatever he makes is right, y'all, it reflects him. Hallelujah. Don't you want to reflect him? Don't you want to reflect the power of Almighty Yahweh and his light and his oil and his image, Israel? He said, so I went down to the potter's house and behold, he wrought a work. Craft. I saw the excellent and the working of his hands as it turned this piece of nothing, this clay, that was just a glob, no form, no purpose. Yet I watched the, the eloquent hands form, and I observed. He said, then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on wheels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the wheel for? Well, what a wheel is for in a potter's house is a turning table that spins. And he places the clay in the center of it. But you know that Yahweh has placed us in the center of his will, Yisrael Yahweh? Yeah. We have been placed into, in the center of the will of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. That continue, it doesn't stop, it always moves. Yeah. It revolves around him yeah. and only him, Yisrael Yahweh. Yeah. And he placed us there in the center, hallelujah, to make us, to form us. Listen to this. He wrote a work on the wheels, verse 4, and the vessel. And the vessel that he made of clay, it was marred. It was incomplete. It, it, it was not perfect. And even as he looked at this, he, he, he understood that it was not perfect. He did not have to talk to the potter, ask any questions. He saw by the works, Yisrael Yah. Don't we understand that by the works of Almighty Yahweh and what he has done, Yisrael Yah, that we should understand what he is doing? Even in our lives, sometimes we have to look back and see where Yahweh has brought us from. How he has cleansed us, his work, and what he has done. And see how far he has brought us, Yisrael Yah. How yet still he is making, he is molding us, Yisrael Yah, even into this marred clay that is on this wheel, Yisrael Yah. He has placed, it in, placed us in his will. Hallelujah. Not in our will, but his will. He said that the vessel he had made of this clay, it was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again. Did it say he made it again? Yes. It didn't say that he discarded of that and got some more from another place. It said that he made it again. Hallelujah. Yeah. He took that which was present yeah. and he made it again. Yeah. Hallelujah. He formed it again. So he made it again. What? Another vessel. This vessel that was marred. This vessel of clay. This example of Yisrael. This is us, Yisrael. Has not Yahweh made us again? We are no longer creatures or vessels unto sin. But because his Torah has entered in into the house, he has made us a new vessel, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He said he'd make it again another vessel as it seemed what? What does it say there? Pleasing. Pleasing to the potter to make it. This clay. Pleasing? Wasn't it marred from the beginning? Was not Yahshua? Was not he marred, Israel? Are not we in that image? Are not we marred in this day and time? But yet, Almighty Yahweh made it another vessel. One to please him. Yes. Don't you know, even in that state of pain, of being marred, Yahshua HaMashiach, right. yet it was an offering that was pleasing unto him, Yisrael Yah. It pleased his left. Even though he turned his face away because of the, the sin that was encountered, yet he knew what the end product would be. Yes. Hallelujah. He knew that this word that Yahshua, the word that he has sent, from the Shemayim, and he had clothed him in this vessel of clay, even knowing that the sin that was put upon him, because everything was so tuned and it was so perfect and it was so precise, what Yahweh has done through Yahshua HaMashiach, yet it pleased him. Hallelujah. Don't you know Yahweh, 
He wants to be pleased. Yeah. And he shall be pleased in us, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we must go through the trial. Yeah. We must endure the trial of our Muna, yeah. even as it bruises us yeah. and it mars us, Yisrael. Yeah. We do not in that state see what Yahweh is doing, but yet Yahweh knows. Yeah. Yahweh has wrought this work. Yahweh has started this work, Yisrael. Yeah. And even though at this time we look through a glass and it's somewhat obscured, Yisrael, yeah, yet Yahweh has shall open our minds and our lives with understanding that we may see perfectly, Yisrael, yeah. yes. hallelujah, hallelujah, what his will is and what he has done and what he is doing, Yisrael. Yeah. He said he made another vessel as seemed pleasing unto him that he make it, verse 5. And the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, O house of Yisrael, cannot I do with you as this potter? Sure you can, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you know that Yahweh here is able? Oh, yes. And all that I have spoken through the Torah at, un, unto this time, the mar, the filthiness of the flesh, how we time after time trample the Torah, the word of, Yah, of, of Yah, mighty Yahweh. We allow ourselves to be lifted up in our pride. You know, pride blinds the eyes of a man that he do not see really the essence of what he is, Yisrael. Right. Yahweh said, that's all right, Yisrael, Yahuda. That's all right, house of Yisrael. I'm going to break you. I'm going to break you down. Hallelujah. As you see how little you are worth. Yeah. That without me, you are nothing. Yeah. Without my Torah, you cannot overcome your enemies. You cannot go forward into the battle and overcome them that seek you. Don't you know that the enemy, that Satan, he seeks us as a roaring lion, Israel, to devour us, to steal that which Yahweh has given us? This is what Yahweh has given us, Israel, his word, that it may make us perfect, that we'll be pleasing in his sight. He said, O house of Israel, cannot I do, cannot Yahweh do all things that pleases him? Cannot I do with this, do unto you as this potter, saith Yahweh. He said, behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand. Don't you hear that, Yisrael? Yeah. So are you. Yeah. Hallelujah. So are you, house of Yisrael. Yeah. So are you, nations of Yisrael. Yeah. So are you. In my hand. Yeah. O house of Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're in the hands of Almighty Yahweh. We're in his will. And that will rotates around him, Israel. His desire. What he wants. He shall make us, Israel, and make us a people that was not a people. A people that brought him dishonor. A people that has been a sinful nation. Yet he has wrought his power. In us, in Yisrael, Yisrael, hallelujah. That's what Yahweh desires to do. That's what Yahweh wants us. And what's the purpose of him going through this? Has, it not, has not Yahweh go through, I mean, through unmeasurable means to preserve us and to keep us hidden away for a time, Yisrael, for us to be revealed? That the power of what he has established from the beginning it shall be complete. And the beauty of what he has started, Yisrael, shall come to its flourishing, to its fullness. Hallelujah. I want to be whole. I want to be full, Yisrael. I want to be made by Yahweh's hands. Not by my hands, because I don't know what I'm doing with my own life. Each and every one of us, we have tried our own ways. We have tried to make ourselves... Like other men, mm -hmm. and not like the man Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. And what has it wrought? Wickedness? Yeah. Sin? Yeah. Sores? Uncleanliness? Yeah. Upon not only our spiritual man, but even upon our physical bodies, Israel. Yeah. Which so easily, it absorbs everything. Sure everything it does. You get a cut, something on your skin, yeah. it penetrates. We're so weak and frail in these flesh bodies. But yet Yahweh has chosen us, Israel. Yahweh has chosen this way to show his power. 
Hallelujah. To defeat a Satan. He's already been to defeat yeah. Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. We, ha we already have the Teshua and Yahshua Hamashiach. Yeah. And all we have to do, all Yahweh has commanded us to do as his clay, as his vessel, Yisrael, Yah, is to walk according to his misfire. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. So what do you do with a vessel, if you were to think about it? What is the purpose of a vessel? Yes. Even though you, or you see vessels that have been sculpted and they're beautiful, writings, uh, art, some has been encased with gold, silver, it is to be filled or something to be placed in it. Yes. Is that not Israel? Yes. So does Yahweh, has he gone through this process that we will be vessels that possess nothing? No, sir. Or does he desire to put something within that vessel? Yes. If we are left to ourselves, Israel, vessels, mm -hmm. then we bring shame unto Almighty Yahweh. Why? Because we allow ourselves to be filled with this wine, as I talked about, this wine of our own sin, this drunkenness, where we cannot understand what Yahweh is doing. A drunk, drunk man don't understand what's going around him, yeah. what's going on. He's not coherent. He's incoherent. You speak to him, yeah. man, don't you know where you are? He could be in a dangerous predicament. He doesn't know that. Hallelujah. So Yahweh, he does not want us to be drunken with the wine of the world, or with the wine of this flesh. Yeah. But with the oil of his ruah, with the wine of his spirit, Yisrael, Yah, he wants to fill us. So we have to prepare ourselves. We have to be made ready, just as he formed and made the clay. Why? That he may fill us with his ruah, Yisrael, Yah. Fill us. I want to be, don't you want to be filled with the ruach of Almighty Yahweh? Hallelujah. Fill us, Yah. Allow your ruach to fall and to rain down upon us, Yisrael, Yah, and fill us, Abba, Yahweh, until we won't no more. Let us move on, verse 7. He said, at what instance I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it? He said, if that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, he said, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do to them. And at what instant shall I speak concerning a nation, concerning a kingdom, to build it and to plant it? Yes. Verse 10, the last verse in this chapter that I want to read. He says, if it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice. He said, then will I repent of the tub. Wherein I have said, I will benefit them. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. So let us walk in the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. That the promises he has promised us, the things he has brought in us, Israel, that it may be brought to its fullness, fullest potential, Israel, that he may fill us with his Ruach HaKodesh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I brought Yahweh for his mercy. For his Ahava Yisrael, yeah. that even we, as I have read, a people without worth, a nation that has turned from him many times, yet he has not turned from us, Yisrael, yeah. even though his judgment has been poured out upon us. Yeah. It is not to destroy us completely. It is to afflict us. And to destroy that sin that so easily besets us, but not to destroy us from out of his sight, out of his presence, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Let's move to, down to the next chapter in Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 1. Hallelujah. Yet another example. Use us, Yahweh. Mold us, make us into the vessel that you desire in these last and evil days, Almighty Yah. Yeah. That should be our cry. That should be our prayer, Yisrael. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 1. Again, thus saith Yahweh, go and get to the potters, go and get a potter's earthen vessel and take it.
And he says, and take the, I'm sorry, thus said Yahweh, go and get a hollow earthen vessel or the bottle and take the ancients of the people and of the ancients of the Kohen and go far to the valley of the son of Hinnon, which is by the entry of the east gate and proclaim there the words that I say unto you. And thus say, hear you the word of Yahweh, O kings of Yehuda, the inhabitations of Jerusalem. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the sovereign ruler, behold, I will bring evil upon this place, which whosoever hears, his ear shall tingle. Because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have burned incense to other gods, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Yahudah, and has filled this place with the blood of the innocent. So that's what happens, Israel. Even unto this vessel I had read earlier, that Yahweh, he takes that vessel or that bottle. Yes. We are intended for the filling of the Ruach HaKodesh. But yet we have filled these vessels or these bottles with fleshly desires, yeah. with fleshly intents and not with the rock of Almighty Yahweh. And what shall he do? He shall destroy these bottles. We shall impale this flesh continually, Yisrael. That Yahweh may uh, strengthen the things that remain. What should remain in us, Yisrael? It should be his Torah. It should be his Ruach, Yisrael, that remains in the house of Yisrael. Turn with me again to Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. Hallelujah. Isaiah 52, verse 1. We need to awake, Israel. We need to wake up out of this slumber, out of this drunkenness that Yahweh proclaims that we are filled with. It says in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1, he says to awake, awake. Put on your strength, O Zion. He says, put on your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the Kodesh city, for an inheritance. For henceforth, there shall be no more come into you, into you the uncircumcised and the unclean. No longer shall those things that are uncircumcised, those things that have not been cut, that has not been chastened of Almighty Yahweh, no things that have not been cleaned, no longer shall they enter into the house, into the vessel, unto the level of Yisrael. He says, to shake yourself from the dust, arise and sit down. Arise up from the dust. Arise up from, the, from those low places, Yisrael, and sit down. We must prepare ourselves, Yisrael. Yeah. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, loose yourself from the bands, of your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. He says, for thus saith Yahweh, he said, you have sold yourselves for naught. We have sold ourselves for the weak and beggarly elements, those things that do not profit, those things that do not strengthen us. We have settled for those foundations that are not sure. He said, and you shall be redeemed without money. Was it silver and gold that redeemed us, Israel? Was it the silver and gold? But it was Yahshua HaMasiah. It was this vessel that Yahweh has filled with his Ruach, the Torah, the Mishra of Yah, hallelujah, that has redeemed us. It, has, it was Yahshua HaMasiah and his dumb. So we have been redeemed with that money. But we have been de redeemed with the price that has been paid in full, Yahshua HaMashiach. He said, for thus saith Yahweh, the sovereign ruler, my people went down aforetime into Mizraim to sojourn there. And the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith Yahweh? That my people is taken away for naught. They that rule over them, make them to howl, make them to cry, make them to plead, saith Yahweh. He said, and my name continually, every day, it is blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. 
Therefore, my people, they shall know my name. They shall, yada. They shall know my name. We shall know the name of Yahweh. Yes. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. He says, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bring forth tough tidings. Did not Yahshua bring forth tough tidings, Yisrael? And that publishes shalom. That brings tough tidings of tub, of pleasurable things. That publishes salvation, Yashach. That says to Zion, Yahweh reigns. Is not Yahweh reign, Yisrael? Is it not Yahweh that has the power? Yes. Is it not Yahweh that is the part of Israel? Yes. You know, Eo, he made a statement even in his trial yes. as Yahweh allowed Satan to try him and try his flesh. He said, who is man? What is man? Yes. That we should say unto Yahweh, why have you made me thus? Yes. You judge me. You try me. You afflict me. Who are you, Yahweh? Has Yahweh given us that power? Hallelujah. But yet he tries our very intent and our nature continuously, Yahweh. Yisrael. It is Yahweh that does that. It is Yahweh that reigns. Verse 8. He said, your watchmen shall lift up the voice. And with the voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye. When Yahweh shall bring Zion again. They shall see eye to eye, Yisrael. There'll be no more confusion. No more babblings, Israel. No more complaining amongst the house of Israel. In verse 9, he says, Break forth into joy. Sing together, O waste places of Jerusalem. Have not there been places of Jerusalem that has been leveled? By the judgment of Almighty Yahweh. But he yet says, Sing together, you waste places of Jerusalem. For Yahweh... He has comforted his people. He has comforted his people, Yisrael. Yeah. It is Yahweh that brings us assurance. It's in him we put our trust, Yisrael. Yeah. He said he has redeemed. Yeah. Time after time, even in, in, the, in the Torah, we see how Yahweh, by his judgment, he has allowed the heathen to reign and to rage. He has allowed Jerusalem and Yehuda, Yisrael, to be uh, uh, taken by the heathen. Yes. But yet, even in all that, Yisrael, the purpose of Yahweh has been wrought. What? To purge us. Amen. To cleanse us. Why? That he may redeem us. Amen. That we may know it is him that brings us out of Mizraim. It is him that brings us out of trouble. Hallelujah. It is him that brings us through and gives us the tools and the strength, Yisrael, to overcome everything and all things. Every mountain and every gate, every high place, every wall that seems to stop us, Yisrael, we should not be stopped. Why? Because it's Yahweh that has redeemed us. And we have been redeemed by the dawn of Yahshua HaMashiach. Verse 10. He says, Yahweh has made bare his Kohim arm in his eyes of all the nation. Yahweh has made bare his Kodesh arm in the eyes of all nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see his salvation. Shall see the salvation of Almighty Yahweh. Have we seen the salvation of Almighty Yahweh? I have seen the salvation of Almighty Yahweh. Why? Because he has wrought forth those things in my life. Through Yahshua HaMashiach. He says, depart you, depart you. Go you out thence. Touch no unclean thing. Go you out of the midst of her and be you clean. Let us come out of this horror church, this nation, that continuously serve other gods. They lay with other gods, Israel. We should not take no part in this, Israel. We must come forth out of the midst of her and be clean. That bear the vessels of Almighty Yahweh. Do you hear that? Yes. That bear the vessels of Almighty Yahweh. Hallelujah. Did not Almighty Yahweh say he will bear us, Israel? Yes. He will uphold us. That we are as clay 
in his hands, Yisrael, to mold us and to make us, that bear the vessels of Almighty Yahweh. He says, for you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For Yahweh will go before you. He will go before us, Yisrael. It is Yahweh that goes before us. It is Yahshua HaMashiach, the Torah, that has gone before us, Yisrael. And Yahweh, the sovereign ruler of Yisrael, he will be our re-reward. He says here, Behold my servant. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be made very high. As many were, as many were astonished at you. And his visage was so marred, more than any man, and his form more than the sons of Adam. Let's talk about Yahshua HaMashiach. He was marred more than any man. We think because of our sufferings and what we endure that it can uh, equate to the mark of Yahshua HaMashiach. It's not so, Yisrael. They say that Yahshua, he was marred more than any man. His countenance was marred. His body marred. Weak, Yisrael. More than any man. That it was even his visions were not recognizable, Yisrael. This is the house of Yisrael. This is the example. This is what Yahshua went through for us, Yisrael. Verse 15. He says, So shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall they, shall they see. And that which they had not heard they shall consider. Hallelujah. So let those things, Yisrael, because we have heard, we should consider. Yahshua HaMashiach has been revealed unto us. The power of the might of the testimony, Yisrael, has been revealed in us. That we should walk continually, Yisrael. Not after the will of the flesh. No longer in corruption. Why? Because we have been redeemed. Yahweh has redeemed us, Yisrael. Vessels that were meant to be broken. Vessels that was designed only for one thing, to be destroyed. But Yahweh has took those things. He has took us, Yisrael, and he has held us up. That even the Medikim, they admire the house of Yisrael. Just as Yahshua HaMashiach, was not he lifted up, Yisrael? So shall we be lifted up. And we shall lift up the name of Almighty Yahweh. For he is our strength. He is our help. He is our confidence, Yisrael. He is everything. Hallelujah. It's because of him, Yisrael, that we are what we are today. His chosen and his elect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A few more verses, Yisrael. Let me read this. Bear with me before I bring this to an end tonight, Yisrael. I mean, this, on this beautiful Shabbat day. Hallelujah. It is Yahweh that makes us. It is Yahweh that has formed us, Yisrael. So let us not discount even our life in this flesh. Because it's not a life if we live this life after the will of Almighty Yahweh and Yahshua HaMashiach. Then it should bring forth the wealth of Almighty Yahweh. So let us not discount the things that we endure and the things that we go through, Yisrael. Because it is for the, the lifting of the name of Almighty Yahweh. That's what we should do. Even in our pains. Even in our trials and our marring, Yisrael, as we have been scarred, Yisrael, from, for, from the things of the world, that as long as we walk in the words of Almighty Yahweh and after the Ruach of Yahshua HaMashiach, that he will bring forth those things that are pleasing and pleasurable in his sight, Yisrael, that we will be made in his eyes these vessels that are pure, these vessels of gold, and that we be presented a vessel of honor. Hallelujah. Amongst the heathen, Yisrael. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. We come to a stopping point here. Let us move on to Marcus chapter 2, verse 18. Verse 18. I'm going to read 18 through 22. Hallelujah. 
You know, Yahweh, through Yahshua HaMashiach, we know that through him, we have been made new vessels, Israel. We know that even the old vessels that we have been made in, that have been marred, somewhat damaged, they can no longer hold the wine, or they can no longer be used for their purposes. So through Yahshua HaMashiach, just as he has taken our bodies, and we have been made new, new vessels through him, why? That we may hold the Ruach HaKodesh. That we be vessels that not break in time of affliction or time of trial, but that we will hold this new wine. That we'll be able to hold the Ruach of Almighty Yahweh and Yahshua HaMashiach. Mark chapter 2, verse 18. He said, And the disciples of Yohanan and the Pharisees, it says that they used to fast. And they came and they said unto him, Why do the disciples of Yohanan and of the Pharisees fast, but your disciplined ones fast not? And Yahshua, he makes this statement. And Yahshua said to them, can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? He says, as long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and, shall, and they shall fast in those days. Those days. He said, no man also sold a piece of new cloth onto an old garment. Does Yahweh, does he desire these new garments? The rock of Yahshua HaMashiach yes. to be sold with the sins of the world, Yisrael? Yes. He said, no man sold a piece of new cloth on an old garment. Neither will Yahweh allow the garments of the old, the, the vessels of the old or of the flesh be so, or those things that are corruptible and corrupt, to be entangled with the new vessels, Israel. Because there's no fellowship with light and darkness. They have no fellowship. Neither does the things of the flesh mind the things of the Ruach, Israel. And he says this. He said, Elk, a new piece that is filled it up, takes away from the old. And the rent is made worse, Yisrael. Verse 22. And no man puts new wine in old bottles, else the new wine would burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled. And the bottles will be marred. But new wine must be put into the new bottles. Through Yahshua HaMashiach, he's made a new and a living way, Yisrael. That we no, uh, no longer are under the Torah of sin. Those were the old ways. But yet, he, we are not under the Ruach of sin anymore, under this Torah of sin. But we are under the Ruach of life. So everything that we do, everything that we sow, should be unto life, Israel. Unto the new things. Not the things of old, because we have been made new by the hands of Almighty Yahweh. Vessels unto him. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Hallelujah. We have made, been made new by the hands of Almighty Yahweh, through the works that Yahshua HaMashiach has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Habarag Yahweh. For all things Yisrael, and for everything he has done, for he has made us whole. He has made us complete. He has made us to walk, not after the old things. We should not walk after the old life that was sown in sin. That will raise an iniquity, Israel, but may it be what well, we should have been made new yes. by the dam of Yahshua HaMashiach. New no, vessels. Vessels that are pleasing before him. Vessels of honor before him, Israel. Oh, so he has took us. Yeah. He's, he didn't choose us because we were a people that was mighty than any other nation. Right. Or because we were more than any other people. Right. Neither because we possess riches more than any other nation, any other people. 
But it's because that his ahava has been laid upon us, Jezreel. We were the offscoring of the earth. We were the wasting. We were that, 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 that stuff that was scooped off of the top, Yisrael. We have been discarded by the world. Yet Yahweh said, I will take this people and make it my nation. And I will make them a great people. And Yahweh, he has made us great, Yisrael. We possess, we possess his Torah. We possess his Torah in our lives. So let us walk therein, Yisrael. Let us not bring shame to the name of Almighty Yahweh. But let us forever bring him honor, bring him praise. Why? Because he has made us new. He has made us acceptable. And he has made us a vessel that his Ruach shall dwell in, Yisrael. Hallelujah. So let us allow Yahweh's Ruach to fill us this day. Let us be led by the Ruach. Hallelujah. We're no longer our own, Yisrael. But we have been paid for with a price. And that has been the dom and the offering. Not only his, the dom that has been shared for us, but also the body, also the vessel, hallelujah, has been marred for us. So let us wear those marks. Yahshua, even when he was made, uh, or he revealed himself once again, even unto the, the disciplined ones, did not he still bear the marks? Were those marks, were there marks of dishonor? No, there were marks of honor, Israel. Yeah. The marks upon that body of clay was marks of honor. Yeah. Why? Because in those same marks do we find our healing, we find our redemption, yeah. we find our cleansing in him, Israel. Yeah. So we should not be ashamed. Yeah. When it comes for lifting up his name, yeah. proclaiming his name among the heathen, yeah. we should not be ashamed, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it was through his body, it was through his dom that we have redemption on this day. Hallelujah. I want to close right there t uh, today, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. For Yahweh, he is merciful. Yeah. And he has kept us, Yisrael. Yeah. Don't let the enemy rob you. Yeah. Don't let your fears rob you, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because Yahweh is in control. Yeah. We're in his will. Yeah. He is the one that spins the will. And we are the clay in the center of his will, Yisrael. Yeah. So allow him to mold us, allow him to make us into the vessels, yes. which was marred, into a vessel that is pleasing yes. in his sight. Hallelujah. Yes. Isn't that tough, Yisrael? Yes. I know Yahweh, he's still spinning me in his will. Yes. He's still forming me, yes. that we may be made into that image, Yahshua yes. HaMashiach. Was not he perfect? Yes. Is not he perfect, Yisrael? Yes. Hallelujah. I want to be in his image. Yes. Hallelujah. He is my Savior. He has come from the Shemayim, Yisrael. But yet, if we as a people, if we will allow his Ruach to fill us, then that same Ruach that has raised Yahshua HaMashiach, even from the grave, it couldn't hold him down. Death cannot hold us down, Yisrael. If we walk in that same Ruach, that same Ruach that raised him, that quickened him, Yisrael, it should even quicken our motor bodies. It should even quicken our vessels, yes. hallelujah, that we will be raised up to give Yahweh the honor and the praise for all things. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us stand to our feet, Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. I have truly enjoyed this, this time in the Torah, in the Bible, Yisrael, amongst those alike, precious, Imuna, those that are listening by Ville of live stream, Yahweh Barak, Barak you all, and allow his Torah, Yisrael, to, to settle in us, in our hearts. Allow it to percolate. Hallelujah. Even those things that are dry and parsed in our love, Yisrael, yeah, that they may come alive with praises, that the water may flow forth out of our bellies, living waters, Yisrael, yeah. hallelujah, and we can drink from them, that we can give of our, our, and give of our whole out of our vessels. Hallelujah. That holds the Ruach HaKodesh, hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. Let us turn to Jerusalem. Abba Yahweh, we do barak you for this beautiful Shabbat you have given us, Abba Yahweh of time of rest, of time that we have spent in your Ruach, Abba Yahweh, that we may be enlightened by your truth, Abba Yahweh, that in your rebuke you show your Ahava, in your exaltation you show your Ahava, and even showing your Ahava in Yahshua HaMashiach, that has redeemed us, Abba Yahweh, from this death, from this body, and from sin, Abba Yahweh. We do bring all those that have gathered with us here at Teshua, and all those, Abba Yahweh, that are listening by via of live stream, Abba Yahweh, 
And we ask that you would strengthen the house, Yisrael. That you would strengthen us, Abba Yahweh. There are those that are facing trials, Yisrael. There are those that are in diverse situations, Abba Yahweh, that is much more intense than what we experience, Abba Yahweh. But yet, Yahweh, your house is scattered throughout every nation, Abba Yahweh. Pour out your Ruach, Yah, amongst the house, that we may be filled with your Ruach HaKodesh, Abba Yahweh. We do brought those that have come from near and far. Take them, Yahweh, home safely, that your word, that your Torah, and that your Melikim may encamp as a hedge about the whole house, Yisrael. And all things we do, Baraki, we give you Toda yes. in the precious and mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach. We do pray yes. on this Shabbat. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.